Hey everybody, welcome to the Electric Supercar Channel. You may have noticed there is something missing from the beginning of this episode. So I started this channel a little over a year ago, and at that time I just grabbed the first free template uh, that I could add text to, and ta-da, there was my uh, first intro. Um, it's probably the single most thing that I've got uh, comments on, and so with my slightly improved editing skills, I give you Mark II of the Electric Supercar Channel intro. I hope you like the new and improved intro, but back to build. So the last couple weeks we've been focusing on brakes. We uh, painted the brake calipers, we installed the uh, electronic parking brake, and uh, we're going to continue with the braking theme. We're going to see if we can go ahead and finish off the brakes. Uh, so we need to bleed the brakes, um, check to see if there's any leaks, and if we make that far we'll, we'll see what's next. So um, I think we still have the steering wheel as well as um, mounting the seats. So if we can get that far, um, we'll be pretty close. I think we can uh, try out on its maiden voyage. So let's get into it. All right, uh, back in the car here, got things turned on. Um, just looking at a couple things. One is kind of the pedal placements, the brake and gas. So um, essentially, the gas, I think, is in a pretty good place, meaning my foot kind of rests against the uh, side panel here, and it's kind of in a good spot. I've kind of checked with other cars. Um, the brake is just too close, meaning I can get around it, but it's it just seems like it's going to hit. So again, I just think uh, not the best design here. Um, I'm planning to just uh, cut the brake pedal and weld on a new piece of steel to where I want it. All right, process has begun. The pedal has been cut off. So I thought about uh, taking off the car, but um, essentially I'd like to kind of almost weld it in place exactly where I want it. So I'll go ahead and uh, clean this up and I've got another piece that I'm gonna weld on. Um, so I'll, I'll make one more cut down here. And then I'll kind of tack weld two spots, make sure it's where I want and then weld it all up. All right, so this is what we're working with. Um, so the pedal essentially comes, let's see. Yeah, so the gas is over here. So the pedal comes too close to the gas pedal on this side. So essentially what I wanna do is I wanna get this and just move it over um, a couple inches. So I got this steel here. My thought is, see it too well but essentially I'm going to weld it kind of there so I'll cut right here and then weld there and weld again up here so we'll see how it goes okay so I got the uh, bottom part of the pedal welded on um, I need to still weld the other side and then I need to get the exact placement I want in the vehicle and I'll get that welded too. All right, I got the new pedal placement and um, I really like it. Uh, it feels much more like a standard car and uh, I'm not gonna get my shoes caught or anything. Uh, so we'll go ahead and finish welding it. Right now I just got a tack weld. All right, uh, I'm getting ready to bleed the uh, tandem master cylinder here. It came with the bleeder tubes and some uh, connections there. So it says first to uh, essentially get all the air out of the master cylinder. Um, so I took off the brake lines. Once the air is out, um, I'll replace those um, back to there and then we'll start with the uh, rear corner and go from, go from there. Let's see how it goes. All right, so we've got the uh, brakes. Uh, the master cylinder is all bled. And so now we'll go to the rear one and keep it going. All right, bleeding the brakes. I've got Holly here to help me. Uh, it works better for kind of a two-man job. So we'll see how it goes. All right, so as we are bleeding, 
I don't know, you're not gonna be able to see this very well. All right, so way down there, uh, we just had a small leak, a little drip, and yeah, that brake fluid definitely, uh, it's like a paint remover. So that was just, uh, I had one of my fittings here that wasn't quite tight, and then I had one other one here in the back, right here, and again, does a really good job of removing the paint. But we've got it all, everything all tightened, and uh, brakes work now. So great milestone. All right, I got some little uh, metal brackets made. Um, they are for uh, or for the hard lines uh, on the brakes. So right here, I've just put this one in. I'm gonna go ahead and weld it to the frame. But uh, thought is, is then uh, I'll have a secure point. So I've got one here, but um, it's gonna do this for both the front and the back. So I've got kind of a welded secure point for all the hard lines. All right, here they are all welded on. Um, try to clean it up a little bit and paint it, but anyways, it's uh, very secure. So feeling good about that. All right, I'm also looking into uh, finishing up the steering wheel here. Um, the last thing I need to do is try and figure out kind of the horn wires. Um, so this one was all situated with airbag and anyways, it's got a lot of extra wires, but I do need, I think, something like this. So when I rotate the wheel, the wires won't uh, get bound up. So I will get this fit on with the other things and try and get uh, the steering wheel all fixed. All right, so the uh, clock spring here, I was able to kind of maintain. I had to shave a little bit off the top, but uh, I only need the two wires for the horn, so I don't need all the airbag wires. So um, we'll go ahead and I think we can button this up now. So we'll, we'll put everything together and try it out. Okay, so I got, uh, let's see where to start. So I got the clock spring in, um, had to do some custom work there. I got the uh, connections all fitted to the horn and put everything on. There's just one thing, I've got a, uh, I don't know if you can see, but there's a spacer here. And that's just so uh, it gives me enough room for the the horn, I think that spacer needs to be a little bit bigger. So I mean, this horn, I believe is supposed to be flush. And so I can't tighten it down all the way. And I don't think, I think this is hitting something in the back. So I don't think that'll work. The other thing is um, it's really close here to like turn signals and such. So again, I think a little bit bigger spacer will do the trick. All right, I got the uh, top and bottom back on. I got the wires connected and all out of the way. So, Really all I need is the, uh, that spacer, just you know, probably an inch more. So I'll get uh, working on that. But other than that, this guy's uh, looking good. All right, here's a update on the steering column adapter. So I had one, I, I bid on one on eBay, this NRG one, uh, thinking that that's what I'd want. Um, I ended up getting this one uh, as well. So this one will allow for the proper spacing. So I just have to come up with a cover for that. So I've been working on that. So I've got, uh, did some fabricating here. Some of this is a uh, pipe from Home Depot and the other stuff I've just kind of fabricated and put together. So again, this is not structural. This is really just cover. So I think this should be good enough. We'll uh, get it installed and let you see how it looks. All right, uh, I hope this is it. Um, again, this is my kind of fabricated cover and this is the eBay 
steering column adapter. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tighten the nut and put on the steering wheel and the horn and everything and see how it looks. Okay, um, this is pretty close to how it's gonna be. So again, there's the uh, kind of shroud. Steering wheel's all mounted. Um, the only thing, it just, I can hear some noise when I twist the wheel. So I thought I had clock spring and everything uh, dialed in, but uh, I may wanna just take it apart one more time. The other thing is, I think I'm gonna go for some uh, black oxide screws um, instead of the stainless and they're, they don't engage that much, so just only a couple threads. So again, I'll, I'll probably take all this apart to get the longer uh, screws and see if I can figure out what's making noise, if that's uh, any issues. Again, it's not like grinding or something, but it's just kind of like, sounds like wires maybe flopping around or something. So I'll check it out. Um, one other thing I'll do though is I'll just make sure the horn's working. All right. Um, I'm a little nervous that when I get this in range that the horn just may be blaring on, so we'll see. Well, that's good, no horn. Let's go around the other side and see if we can honk it. No horn. I wonder if I've got, uh, if there's something behind it that's not allowing the full click, um, but we'll check it out. All right, so my 12 volt battery was uh, sucked dry again. I gotta figure out what's, what's taking all the juice, um, but we'll try again and see if, uh, see if the horn works. So I guess we'll turn it on. Here's the horn, maybe. Oh yeah. All right, so one other thing I need to do is I need to get the uh, transmission fluid into the drive unit. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, I believe the uh, unit was shipped to us without any fluid, so I need to go ahead and uh, drain any residual fluid and add the new stuff. All right, so I think in theory, this guy doesn't have any of the uh, transmission fluid. So this is your fill. Um, fill port and your drain port. So I'll unscrew this one first. Unscrew this one. I guess in theory they said it was empty. So nothing should come out, but I'll get a pan and everything in place just in case. And then I've got the two quarts of uh, the automatic transmission fluid. So we'll go ahead and fill it. Okay, so I just uh, filled it up with uh, two quarts. Um, that's the uh, Dextron, or Dextron 6 automatic transmission fluid. So I will go ahead and put the uh, top plug in and then we'll call it done. All right, it's all topped off. Um, got the plugs all tightened to torque specs and yeah, I think we're good to go. That was one of the most uneventful fluid changes I've ever done. So no spills, uh, all the volumes seem to be correct. So pretty pleased. All right, everybody, that does it for this week. Um, got those brakes working, which is a great milestone. Um, got a couple other things taken off the list. We're getting really close to uh, getting this thing on the road. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please consider subscribing. See you next week.